okay? What happens is we know the Gregorian calendar, when they counted for Christ, they don't use a year zero, right? So look what happens if you remove year zero, okay? If we remove year zero, watch this. Oops. Let me zoom back. Let me do this again. Okay. If we remove year zero, you see, because time goes linear, right? The years go linear. They go from left to right, from BC into AD. And the church would say, right, or the Gregorian, there's no year zero. So what they would say is they would say, well, this is the sixth year. There's your completion of six. There's your fifth year. Five years done. Right. That's what we do over here. This is what we're talking about, that there's your year one starting the beginning at your birth. And there's your completion at your birthday. There's your beginning of your second year. And there's your completion of your second year. So what they've done by not having a year zero is they've just carried it straight through. But it's completely wrong because they're saying that the sixth year B.C. starts on this side and ends here. Fifth year BC starts here and ends here. So you get to 1 BC, 1 BC starts here and it ends here, which of course would then say, see, 1 AD starts here and ends here. But that's not true. This is absolutely completely wrong. And why is it wrong? Because on the BC side, you would say we're in 6 BC. And then you have to fulfill it. On the BC side, you would say the person essentially like turned five and then has to fulfill it. Turn four and then has to fulfill it. The fulfilling of the BC side is to the right. It's not to the left. That's why it's BC. You see? So what the church would say is they would say this is the 1 AD side, uh, BC side, when in reality, this is the 1 BC side. How do you know? Because the sun, moon, and stars tell us there is a zero. You see, astronomically, there is a zero, just like there is a year 2000, just like there is a year 1000. There was a year zero, and there had to be a year zero. You see, does zero actually equal anything? No, because the second if you just take our Gregorian count and our Gregorian calendar, the second that it went from, from December 31st at 1 BC, December 31st at 1159.99, just as it switched, bang. What happens is you're now starting January 1st, 1 AD. You see? But there's, there's, this is a whole two-year period. This is simply the BC side. And so what happens is when you realize that, of course, there has to be a year zero because it's in the sun, moon, and stars. You see, so it, th it threw everything off. And this is why when we went on Stellarium, Stellarium showed Jesus' birth in 1 BC. It's not on this side of the 1 BC, which is what the Gregorian would show, right? The Gregorian would say, oh, see, it's the other side. And they would say it's 2 BC because they have no year zero. But when you take this out, they're throwing it way over here. And it just messes everything up. When you have the year zero and you realize that you turn the age and then you fulfill it, whereas here you're fulfilling it and then it's complete at the age, it makes complete sense. And we, do, we did the year 1000, we did the year 2000, so on and so forth, right? And of course, it's in the sun, moon, and stars. So when we go to Stellarium and we saw that Jesus' birth was in 1 BC, it's absolutely correct. It was in 1 BC at the Feast of Weeks. So now let's use this as an example. Let's say, okay, let's forget about the, the BCs here. I'm just going to show an example with birth. When a child is born, right? If you go look at these things, just even did a simple Google search and you did um, when does somebody age begin? And it seems so simple, right? It begins from birth, and at one, you've completed your first year. It tells you that everywhere. Why do people even look that up? 
because they get confused because they see as every number they just look as linear and they just look at it as one, two, three, but there's a whole year in between. There's a whole year in between and it's not just a single number, right? There's 12 months, there's 365 days in between. So to say one is just like saying every year is just, is just a one day. That's kind of the way it's looked at. So when somebody is born, they're in their first year, right? When somebody is born, they have begun their first year. When they get to one and there's a birthday party and the child has turned one and there's this little party with family being celebrated, his first year is complete. It's over. The very next day, he has now begun his second year. You see, it's not rocket science, is it? it, it I can hear some of you saying, well, duh, duh, no kidding. But it's not as simple as just duh, because this has confused so much, especially in relation to the counts with Christ. 